Well, hello again, everybody. Jim Compton here. Hey, and now I'm doing this video because I am standing right where I saw what I believe to be a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot, whatever you happen to want to call them, back on, it was June 12th. It was during the last snowstorm of the year up here in Idaho. And I'm standing in the exact spot. And I was actually, if you look up there where my truck is behind me, you can see it off in the distance. That's actually where I was parked facing the other direction. And I was just kind of filming out through there. Um, and then when I went and did the blind spot check, um, I looked back and he was standing right here. However, it was, you can see, oh gosh, here you go. You can see this branch right up here, I think. Right up here above me. Well, he was so big that I couldn't see his upper, his head because it was obscured by that branch right up there, which shoot, I'd guess is at least 10 foot tall. Whatever it was, is a big old boy. Um, we come back here with the horses um, a couple weeks after that. And Terry Adams has a big perch run. It's 18 hands tall and 2,200 pounds. And I'll tell you what, that perch run paled in comparison to the size of what I saw. And it was standing on two legs. It was standing upright. Um, it was raining and snowing. So because of the rain and snow, um, from I guess about the bottom of its feet, about six inches up off the ground, was kind of a light brownish looking. Um, maybe the color of like a, what you would rec what you would see or come to know like the color of a brown bear. But from about that, which I would guess six inches off the ground may have been its ankles coming up was much darker because it was wet and because it was snowing. Um, but I mean, it was massive. If I would have stood here with both my legs put together, it would not have made one of his legs. Um, and it was standing kind of sideways to where I could see the outline of its foot and its leg going up and I could see the girth of its chest and the waist and chest. I mean, if you were to take the biggest football players in the NFL and put two of them together, you might, might have something the size of what I was talking, what I'm talking about. So, I mean, it was just, it was just tremendous. And it, it took me a couple of weeks to actually process what I saw. Um, I went home and I did a, I did a video right away, kind of recapping it, everything while it was refre well, fresh, blah, 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 while it was fresh in my mind. Um, and then I, I got home and I couldn't even tell Terry what I saw. As at that point, I still hadn't really grasped what I had come to see. So, but, so I showed her the video and we come back up here and the weirdest thing happened when we came back up here. Now, Terry's big horse has been around the mountains. This horse is 18 years old. She has packed people in. Um, she's done guide trips with her, everything else. This horse knows what it's like to be out in the woods. And we come up here, we were riding, and we went down this bank, and I was riding in front of her. And all of a sudden, the mare, she, she, her horse, her Pertron, kind of tucked her butt, scooted a little bit, and looked back to see what, you know, it was that, that it hit, like, you know, what just, what was behind me. Well, I rode around behind Terry and there was a handprint on her horse's butt. And I mean, it was a big handprint. And it's not like where you could reach back and just, you know, ah, cause this horse is big. It was down by her tail and her tail stands, oh God, good six foot tall. So something reached out and touched her. It was impressed with her size, I guess. Uh, but, and then um, we've had that happen on well, the handprint only once, but on two occasions, that mare's acted like that, like she's trying to get away from something. And she is not spooked at anything. This horse doesn't spook at anything. So there we go. We, and that was when we come up here riding and try to figure out what we got here or what I saw. And, you know, it was, it was, a, it was really, it was an experience. It shook me up. Um, so, and I ain't afraid of much. I mean, I'm type of guy I'll tackle you know I'll, I'll take on a bear with a buggy whip it don't matter to me uh, but anyway so but you know it just it did it, it definitely um it definitely took me by surprise to say the least and it took me a couple weeks to even process it before I even told anybody besides Terry about that so but anyways 
Well, folks, there we are. This is gonna be my last video of the day. I've done three of them now. I'm not gonna post them all at once, but hey, I do, you know, I wanna let you know here that, you know, all I can do is relay to you the incidents and things that I've seen up here. Um, and it, it I, I appreciate you watching the videos and I just hope you don't go, come away thinking, you know, hey, he's lying, whatever. I got nothing to gain by lying. I got nothing to gain whatsoever by lying. And I've been, grew up in the Sierra Nevadas and I've had these kind of experiences all the time. It's only since I've, this new technology that I'm holding in my hand that I've had since January of this year. <laughs> so uh, that I've been able to actually record some of this stuff. So, but there you go, guys. Hey, thank you much. I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great day and, uh, you know, keep on going out there and uh, enjoying the great outdoors. And maybe you'll be like lucky like me and actually catch a glimpse of one. Have a great day now. Bye.